Hi guys, in this tutorial I wanted to show you how you can make a shading switch that randomly assigns colors or images to faces or objects. To start off, there are two nodes to get random values. One is the geometry node, which only works in cycles, but which can get values for disconnected faces. The other one is the object info node, which works both in cycles and EV but only for objects. If you connect the geometry node in EV you see nothing is changing. If you connect to the object info node and increase the max value in the map range node you see the colors are changing. If you separate the faces by loose parts, you see each object gets a random color assigned. In this example I use the geometry node. To start I add a geometry node, and a mix RGB node, set to mix. A value of 0 gives the upper color, a value of 1 the lower. To get integer values I add a math node set to snap. If you shift control click on the geometry node repeatedly you can see that the geometry node outputs random values, ranging from 0 to 1. The math node snaps the values to the next lower integer, resulting in all values being 0. So I need to remap the values ranging from 0 to 2. Connecting the output of the math node to the value of the mix RGB node gives the correct result. To add a third color I duplicate the mix RGB node and connect the output of the first RGB node to the value input of the second. To get the right values I add a math node and set it to subtract one from the first math node. This results in all values being 0. So I have to add 1 to the max value of the map range node. To add yet another color I need to duplicate the subtract and the mix RGB node and connect the proper sockets. And not to forget add 1 to the map range node. Next I adjust the UVs to cover the whole UV space, so you can see what happens if I replace the colors with images. Connecting the image textures you see how you can use that setup. Since it gets kind of messy, I select all the nodes, besides the geometry node and group them. Connecting the color slots to the input, I get the sockets exposed in the node group. Pressing the tab key I get out of the node group. Now I can reconnect the image textures and also reuse the node group.
Now I can also replace the geometry node with the object info node for the use in EV. I have a download link in the description if you want to play with the setup. Thanks for watching and remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more tutorials like this. Bye.